Okay, you found all your sounds in Loop Cloud and you're ready to get them out. How do you do it? There are a number of export and rendering settings in Loop Cloud and we're gonna walk through them all right now. The simplest way of getting files out of Loop Cloud and into your DAW is a simple drag and drop. If you're trying to do that with a store sample though, you'll notice that you get prompted to buy the sounds with your points. Once you do that, you'll download it and then you can drag and drop. Once you start using multiple tracks in Loop Cloud, the export options really change. Before you get to the export options though, you need to buy any samples or loops inside of any of the tracks. Now that I've purchased all of the sounds I'm using in my project, I've got my export options. If I click this arrow, we can come to export and we'll see the different styles of export options we can choose from. The current mix will be a mix down of everything that we've had in our tracks. So in the entire project is one file. So if I click export, it will go ahead and render that file out. It will copy it to the clipboard, but I can also just click, drag and drop it right into my DAW. The next file is the original file. This will be the original file of whatever I have selected. So right now I'm on this track and this is what the track sounds like. However, if I click export and then click and drag and drop it, I'm getting the original file, not the pattern and loop cloud effects that I have on that channel, which again, sounds like this. The next option is the processed current track. So again, I've got this track selected. If I go ahead and hit export, close that window, click drag and drop. Now I'll have that pattern with the effects. Next up, Processed separate files. This will give me these four tracks and this will have the pattern and effects built in. So again, if I close, hit export, click and drag. You'll see that I've got four files. Quick tip in Ableton Live, if I hold control, it'll actually put them on different channels. And the one we're most focused on is the one with the pattern. So I've got the pattern and the effects built in and everything else should be exactly how I had them in my Loop Cloud session file. The final option, is the original separate files. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, export them, click, drag and drop, hold down control, and the one we're focused on is this one. So each of the files is exactly the same as it was originally, including the length. Now there are a couple of other helpful features in Loop Cloud which will help you when exporting. You can Enable dragging hides Loop Cloud, which is why when I clicked and dragged, Loop Cloud went away. You can have Loop Cloud show right back up after you drop by enabling this. And there's further advanced features here, which normalize, which will just make sure the highest transient will be at zero dB. You can export to custom folders. When that's enabled, you can choose the folder location here. You can also get to those features and settings inside of preferences which are right here under options, view, drag out hides loop cloud, show loop cloud after drag. Exporting your audio is essential and loop cloud lets you do it the way you want to.